Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Gordon Xavier here today, sharing with you all some good vibes, a couple of ideas, and a little bit of love, man. A, little, a lot of bit of love. Let's get it. So today we have a question from our buddy, from homeboy, Nick Dees, man. What's going on, Nick? Appreciate the comment, man. I appreciate all your comments. I see them, you know, and and you know, I'm I'm happy these videos have helped you, man, in your evolution and your growth. And I'm excited to see that you're on this path of growth, man. You're gonna get there as long as your intention and your attention is in that direction, man. You will get there. So just keep doing what you're doing, man. I promise you, you will make it to where you want to make it. I promise you. So in Nick's comment, he said he wants to become better socially. And specifically, he wants to grow in terms of confidence. So today, this video is all revolving around building confidence in yourself and taking that confidence into social situations. All right. So there's, there's four main principles that I want to share with you all that uh, you can focus on, that you, four main categories you can grow in that will, as a byproduct, uh, elevate your confidence and how you feel about yourself. So the four categories you really want to develop and expand are these. Number one, you want you need more life experiences. You need to get out there more. You need to get involved with other people. Be around other people. Do more things and, and, and step into more unfamiliar territories. I'll give you all a life example of mine. When, you know, I wait tables for a part-time kid. And when I first started doing this, it was unfamiliar to me. I was, it was uncomfortable. And at first, my confidence in that area was fairly low. But as my experience began to develop and expand, as I began to be around it more and more and engage with it more and more, get familiar with how things work, what doesn't work, hands-on experience, that gives you confidence and knowledge so that you are able to navigate in a much more, uh, you know, in a much more familiar way. And when you're familiar with things, typically fear goes away, and you're able to just move smoothly, and you're not worried about failure or, or how you look or any of that kind of stuff. You just you just go with the flow. So experience gives you that ability to go with the flow. Number two, develop a relationship with God or the universe or uh, the animating force. The force that gives life to all things. Develop a relationship with that. I know people get really, really, you know, they get intense about throwing the word God around, but whatever you want to call it. There is an intelligence in this universe that animates us, that drives everything, that keeps everything in order, that, that fuels the sun, that, that makes gravity work the way it works, that, that it keeps my heart beating, keeps your heart beating, keeps my thoughts moving forward, keeps my brain working. There is an animating force in the universe. And it's amazing to see how your life changes when you acknowledge it. Because in order for you to be able to utilize something to your advantage, you have to see it. You have to acknowledge it and you have to, to exchange with it. So whatever it is that, you know, I, me personally, I invite God to work with me in everything that I do. I invite the universe to work with me in everything that I do. This powerful force when it comes to just meeting people. talk. I talk to this force all throughout the day. And... To know that you have something so large, something so infinite on your side that you, can, that you have access to, to know that and to be able to experience that, it, it takes away all fear of failure when you truly believe in it and you get to know it and you just give in to this beautiful force. When you give in to it and you just and you learn it and, and, and you explore it. It's it's amazing the direction your life takes. Number three, what are you putting into your mind? 
What are you putting into your mind? What's influencing you? What are you educating yourself with? And whose opinion are you allowing to penetrate your psyche? Seriously, I wouldn't be who I am today if it wasn't for all the books that I've read and all the, the motivational audio tapes I've listened to, all the different forms of consciousness that I've absorbed through books and through other people. Constantly put that kind of stuff into your mind, man. It'll help put things in your mind into a structured form that you're able to use as a tool whenever you're going about you know, doing your life things. And number four, what condition is your body in? If your body's broke down and tired, it's gonna be hard for you to express that, that strength that's associated with confidence. Confidence is an empowering feeling and, and state of mind. So you need your body to back you up, guys. It's, it's that simple. Your body backs up your mind. Your mind can't do it alone. You need your body on your side too. And if you're ne neglecting your body, if you're not using your body, you know, that cuts your capacity for power and strength down dramatically. So what condition is your body in? Grow your body, strengthen your body, get in tune with your body, and inhabit your body. Inhabit your body. Inhabit your body. And you'll find that it's so much easier to navigate this whole thing, man. So Nick, everybody who watched this video, I hope this information aids you on your journey. As always, you know I got nothing but love for you. Be sure to leave comments, you know, tell me what you think, like this video, and share it with those who need to hear. Alright, so until next time, y'all be easy. Alright. 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 Hey, no, no.